Matt and I play the saxophone and today I'm going to be teaching you about the three basic parts of a saxophone. Now first we have the mouthpiece and on the mouthpiece you have the ligature and you will also have a reed. Now I play on a uh, three and a half reed which if you are a beginner you will not play on because that strength is too strong for you and I would recommend starting off on either a two or a two and a half. Now this, this is what we call the neck of the saxophone and you would put the mouthpiece on this end up to a certain um, length of the cork. Now as you might see here, you can see it on this side, I have lines here that's to mark where I put the mouthpiece on the reed. And so this is the neck it will attach this part into the actual saxophone. And this, this gets um, lifted up by a part on the saxophone, which um, you press a key to do. So I can put this on the saxophone. So as you see, there's a, there's a key right here that will lift it up. And then this is the main body of the saxophone. And this is where the, all the keys are and um, uh, how you can play different notes with the saxophone. And so once all these three things come together, four things really if you count the reed, then you'll be able to play your fo first note on the saxophone. A E flat sa uh, alto saxophone in its entirety and in a normal concert band, the saxophone will blend with the French horns, kind of be like their backup. In a marching band, the saxophones will be the support of the winds, give it that extra emphasis. And in a jazz band, the saxophones are kind of just there as a background, but occasionally they will have their moments where they get to play out above um, most of the band. Oh, I forgot about it. The concept of the saxophone we was um, created by Adolf Saxophone, and he actually patented 14 different kinds of saxophones, which include the alto saxophone, which is what you see here, the tenor saxophone, the soprano saxophone, and the baritone saxophone. 